Inhale a painting today. Inhale a painting today. Inhale a painting today. Inhale a painting today. Today, painting this uh, can of soup. Um, this is something that Andy Warhol did. Uh, he's a very famous art guy. Uh, um, so I figure I'm gonna paint some soup and he did soup. The picture's gonna look like that, but you know, without my hand there. Chicken corn chowder. Um, uh, chowders are particularly difficult to paint. And, uh, as all artists know, put in a background. Oh gosh! Brownie, I don't know, paint for the background. I kind of want to use it all up. The, the lids get stuck. Get the get get out of here. Get no 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 no. What it's supposed to actually be called. This is not educational, by the way. If you are here for an education, <laughs> why? This is just absolute anarchy with paints. Color and emotion. Yeah. This is the kind of thing that I think that a paint guy would say in a Oh my god, paint! Get on there! Oh my god! And again, like last time, this is pretty sweet. Where the can is gonna go, I know where it's gonna go. Uh, it's not floating in space. It's gonna be on a table, and this is the line. This is just a sketchy thing, so it doesn't have to... A can is a geometric shape. The math guys call a cylinder. You gotta know your perspective if you're gonna do this well. And then, yeah. And then like that, uh-huh, all right. Uh, yeah, I don't worry about that. How this, so there's like a label here. There's a spoon on the can. Yeah, okay. See, I made, I made a bad spoon. Wait, did I? Carrot, I guess. And, wow, there's an actual bit of chicken in it. <laughs> What's the deal with soup? It's basically just stuff floating in water. It's so weird. Uh, <laughs> like, look at this. There's, so there's the spoon and there's the food, but then there's like, like they made a mess all over the table when they were trying to make this soup. It's just like, it's just a big vat of water. Just put the stuff in the water. Don't leave it, don't leave it on the table. No one is gonna eat it off the table. That's just stupid. You know, I should redesign this, but it's, I already put the lines in. So there's a lot of negative space up here, so put a clock. You know, like clock and soup, what's the, what's the connection? What is this? What's the connection? What does it mean? And you know what, I'll never tell. All right, so we got the sketch here done. So there's a clock, we, we covered that. You know, let's block in these big, these big bits, like the big red bit here and the sort of darky brown. What does this look like? Cadmium free red medium. Oh! I can't get the top off. So we're gonna go with Nephthal Crimson. Oh, that one came off, good. Taking my little shovel, my little palette shovel. I'm just mixing a tiny bit of black into the red. Just a little bit, just a tiny little, 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 little bit. Put more red in and it's hard to get the cap off. I don't wanna do that. And just mixy, mixy, mix. Just mix that shit up. Little shovel thing. I got it at the paint store. So, oh God, look at the booger on it. Just gonna, oh my God. Oh my God, here it goes. And it comes up a little bit, comes down. Oh my God, uh-huh. Like that. Okay. Careful, careful. So yeah, there's the part, that part. Let's put that dark orange on. All right, so I'm gonna take some of this here yellow. Got a big thing of it, so. Gonna mix that with a little bit of the orange. You know, this is very interesting. And then I got a cadmium orange hue. Get off of the, mm! Oh gosh. Looks like a murder scene. Oh, so messy. Gross. Get out of there. God, it looks like mustard and blood and. Now this part. Very carefully avoid touching the other part. What's interesting about this is it's almost the exact same color <laughs> as this. But I mixed a whole bunch of colors to make this. So, and it's being see-through, which is not good. 
So there's the bit there. I know it's probably impossible to see with it being the same color as that, like out here. So maybe I'll throw that on. Because the last thing I want is someone to look at this painting and go, hey, that doesn't look like a can for real though. It looks like, looks like you missed a bit. You know, Andy Warhol's ones, is they look good. He did them good. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? That's the paint. Oh shit. <sighs> well, using my shovel, Oh, God damn, get out of here, you stupid hair. Gotta, gotta do this really careful. Don't want to pick up the other colors. Mm-hmm. I'm steadying my hand on the thing and very, very carefully. Drawing in the outline. Wow. Check that out. Here we go. Okay, so I think the next part that I'm going to do, you know, some idiot went and put all the stuff for the vegetables, put all the vegetables on the table like a, like a big old fool. Okri. Wait, yellow o ultra, ultra, tiny bit, just a, just a little sprinkle of it. My dark parts, I did it anyway. Ready? So it comes out like that. Oh, that that is that is an awful color. And this thing is supposed to be thinner than it is. Look at that. God, no! Okay, everything's fine. It's gonna go here. And like here. Let's step back for a second. Check this out. Uh huh. Okay. There. And there. Right? You, you can. Oh, wait. Yeah. There. Like, it's like perfect. Killer Whale taught me a lot of things. Gonna put a little, little bleepy do on the. No, you get off! Alright, so top of the soup can. The top of the can. Avoid touching the sides. Avoid touching the parts that I painted already. I would say that's the perfect can top painting anyone's ever made. Because you are incapable. Maybe the rim of the bowl. Oh, you know what? There's like silver at the bottom too. Let's get that. You know why there's silver at the bottom. Perfect. You know, acrylic is like glue, kind of. So it's like, if you spill some on the cap and then it closes, it doesn't, you can't do it anymore. It's because you put, you basically glued the cap to the, to the thing. The hell do you expect? Here comes the soup bowl. Yes. 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 Coming down here. Take some of that. <laughs> Shit! A little, uh, little dot of red there. This painting comes with a free mistake. Uh, oh! No, no, no! Oh god! This, if this acrylic paint <laughs> gets on my carpet, it's game over. I'm never getting it out. Over the whole... Get off of me, paint! Maybe this is all just appearing for you right now. <laughs> but yeah. Can of soup right here. I don't know what soup 
puts in your soup. But that's super gross and dumb. I don't get it. I'm going to paint the table. You know, remember that part in Lord of the Rings when they, like, defeat... What the hell's his name? Saruman? Hey, let's eat all his food. And there's like a chicken, a, f a, a cooked chicken, by the way, just floating in the water. And it's just like, I wouldn't eat that. You know, there's been a bunch of tree people walking in that water. They probably pissed in it too. Like gross. Don't you people, don't you hobbits know anything? So the table's white, as you can see. Nope, come on. Fill in. So you actually learned something. Paint yourself. You know, paint that bit so you can just scrape across here and not worry about hitting the can because you got some space on cakes. Oh God, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, of oh, maybe, oh God, another sneeze is coming. Oh wait, it's not. For the part in the back that's not the clock, I am gonna use unbleached titanium if I can get the cap off. Oh, yes I can. Has it got titanium in it? Wow. The same substance that makes the Enterprise's hull. Remember, remember Star Trek? You see that? It's just like, oh God. You know, speaking of sneezing, this is like snot or something. If anyone knows why, like, is that a kind of paint, the snotty kind? Because the white goes on like icing, but then this is like snot. So somebody tell me the hell is going on here. Maybe I should water it down. Uh, but I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy to do that. I don't want to do that. But God, there's so much background to draw. Or fill in. Uh, oh, the smell of paint. It's, ugh. I don't think paint's supposed to look like that. <laughs> and it goes on great. <laughs> That's sarcasm. Because it goes on bad. <laughs> you know, they say don't blame your tools. Luckily, paint is not the tool. The paintbrush is the tool, so I can blame the paint. <laughs> All I want, and you know what, I think I will. Uh, just get on there, and careful, careful, careful. Yeah, whatever. Ugh. You know, like gross. Get, I don't want that getting all over the place. Great. <laughs> but that's our background mostly done. And what we have here is a finished background. And what this will do is act as the background of the painting so that you can tell the difference between where the can is and where the can is not. Let's get that spoon done. I think it was around here. Came up, it's like here. And then I'll just paint over top of the paint here with, where does it go? Oh, it goes all the way up. It goes like up here. So up goes the spoon. Yeah, I probably should have done the background last. That way if I make a mistake, I could just paint over it. But now I got to sort of, well, I guess I can still paint over it. The delicious, you know, I don't know. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like a piece of chicken, but of course it's got like chowder on it. So in order to paint that, what I'm gonna do is, oh, I can use the orange. Is, 
And of course, it's see-through for some... F Why the hell do they sell see-through paint? Somebody explain. Oh yeah, look at that. So yeah, I'll draw the... Uh, so there are some carrots up here, little chunks of carrot. Let's just say there's a bit, bit of carrot here. The carrot and the corn and all that stuff. What is chowder? Think of all the things that I eat and I have no idea what they are. Like, I don't know what chowder is, but I'm putting it into my hot body. Shouldn't I know? Is, this, is that not, you know, necessary? Now, corn is, of course, looks exactly like cadmium yellow. <laughs> so all the corn bits are just going to be cadmium yellow because it's the middle of the night and I want to go to bed soon. You know, you can discover a lot of interesting things by being very impatient and represented by little dots here, little dots of corn. Go to place. Uh, I don't know, let's say there's some corn over here. Next is going to be the, you can do the chicken. Yeah, okay, let's do the chicken. You, you know, I would have thought they'd put more chicken on the cover of this chicken noodle soup thing. Or chicken corn chowder, sorry, I said the wrong thing. I'm gonna add some more. Let's just say that there's a big piece of chicken. Oh, crap. Okay, hold on. I got some orange in my chicken. We'll just gloop over it. Oh yeah, look at that. So that's the chicken parts. Oh, I guess there's some green. Yellow and blue make green. Yellow and blue make green. Let's see if the, let's see if the limerick, limerick? Celery. You know I hate celery. Let it be known. Celery is just like you buy it for a recipe and you got to get a whole thing of it. You use a couple of bits of celery and then it's like, well, now I got all the celery around. What am I supposed to do with it? Why would I do that? So uh, the, the little nursery rhyme was right. It does make green. I don't know, like over here. See how easy it is? You know, that entire celery part is just one little stroke of the old brush. Because I don't have a lot of stuff in the spoon here, you see. Put some corn on the spoon. There's some corn, a little bit of corn there. Okay, now potatoes. All right, so we'll say that's a big old piece of potato. Oh yeah, there's potatoes like coming up here. Yeah, let's put some potato there and got a bit of potato there. And there's like potato everywhere. I've got to get all the writing, all this writing on here. And I don't know what I'm going to do because there's no goddamn way I'm going to be able to write this and have it fit. You know, I just, I'm not that good. The trick is to abbreviate. Okay. Okay. Cam. Short for Campbell's. Very carefully. Mm-hmm. Well, I was going to write chunk, but I can't fit it on. So Cam Chun, C-H-I-C-H-O-W. So it's called Cam Chun Chick Chow. Uh, yeah. I think that turned out perfectly. You know, I, 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 I want to just grab it with my hands and uh, make a bowl of soup out of that. You know, that's how you know you got a good painting when, when folks are coming up to your artwork and trying to grab it and eat it. It's sort of on the, on the carrots and on the thing, there's like this layer of, ugh, I don't know. I, I, I will probably be eating that later, maybe tomorrow. So, uh -huh, uh -huh. not bad. <laughs> Looks all right. Now the clock. This is a painter's trick. And it's like, you don't know what to do about it. It's the middle of the night. There you go. 
we just make it go away. We just make it go away with paint. We paint over it and it looks perfectly fine. That's the fun of paint is that you can just make things go away. Well, let's take a look. So I'll put the, uh, I'll put the original can up beside it. Now, obviously I painted it a little bit bigger. Um, that happens, but uh, it's a pretty good likeness, I think. You know, the writing's really good, and then uh, chowder bits, and then I got rid of the clock, the white table. Um, yeah, so I hope that you learned something, and I'll probably be, like I say, eating this, uh, eating this, uh, eating this tomorrow, or this. Oh, I can't, I don't want to touch it because I'll get painty.